Hello, this is your girl Twyla Cole, aka Sister Cole. And how are you guys doing? I hope that you are doing well. And you know what I need you to do. I need you to watch the video, like, share, comment, okay? And give me a thumbs up, all right? Let's get into it. So in this video, um, because we know it's Black History Month, I am going to be talking about um, Dr. Joy Leary. And Dr. Joy Leary is an author, a researcher, and she also was a assistant professor at Portland State, okay? A, a very smart lady, and she is best known for um, a book, okay? A book on um, post-traumatic um, syndrome, slave syndrome, okay? So the book is called Post-Traumatic Slave Syndrome, America's Legacy of Enduring Injury and Healing. So she's best known for that controversial book, okay? And the book really discusses, and I'm not going to be long because I know that, you know, Sometimes, you know, people have short attention spans. So I want to get it out so you can at least know about this wonderful lady if you don't already know. So her book basically, um, in a nutshell, you know, and I cannot do it justice. This was a great lady. But it was about how um, slavery uh, impacted the slave and impacts us still. And how, um, you know, we have endured PTSD because of slavery and how like slavery or the arms of slavery has been passed on down to um, generations of the past and our generations and generations to come. You know, how um, this great injustice that was done to our people, how it has extended legs, okay? Which means, okay, you could think of it uh, kind of like um, generational trauma, trauma that is passed down to generation, generation, and generation, you know? Um, not only did slavery impact the slave, but it also impacts generations after. And it also impacted the slave master, meaning uh, that behavior um, or the way that they think or thought about slaves, how that within itself is embedded even in the slave masters, uh, you know, generations and generations um, that came after them as well. And how that treatment that we endured, how that treatment, how it also have extended arms, you know, on generations um, that after and even here in the present day. All right. So they were traumatized. We are traumatized. Right. And we see it. Imagine 246 years of slavery. And then after the 246 years of slavery, there was the Jim Crow laws. And even now into our present day, we still suffer from injustices oppression right some of the um some of the extended arms so to speak that we experience is as i've already said injustices depression a sense of hopelessness you know a sense of longing anger you know these are some of the things that you know um we are we have endured and are enduring you know what i'm saying not low self-esteem um not really feeling enough or or feeling that um we have to do you know so much and even when we reach certain uh, you know, uh, pinnacles of life, we still feel like it's not enough. And we are even told that it is not enough. And even though somebody may not say it out of their mouth, but they say it with their actions and by us not being by us being able to do certain things or to achieve or to even receive certain things, 
um, that others may receive. We see it in everything. We see it in housing. We see it in jobs. We see it um, in the banking system. We see it just going to a grocery store or a store, you know, being followed around. Uh, you know, we see it in our neighborhoods being stereotyped, you know. So th this is what Dr. Leary was talking about. She was talking about, you know, um, that these, that this trauma, PTSD, this trauma, this slave syndrome is how it is passed down um, into generations and generations to come, okay? And this book, I had to read this when I was in college and it was so, it really impacted my whole life because she had put a name on something that I already experience just by living while being black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, she put a name on it and it just, this book, you know, in her theory really did touch me to my very core because this is something that we do live every day. You know, have you ever been um, on a, uh, a job interview where you were qualified for the job, maybe even overqualified for the job and you were looked over. You understand? Uh, have you ever walked through a store and, you know, somebody follow you in and out of the store, you know, uh, you know, thinking that you're stealing or, you know, that you're going to steal. Like this is, this is our life. You know what I'm saying? This is what we have to experience. So if you have not, um, read her book, you know, you should really check it out. It's called Post Traumatic Slave um, Syndrome, America's Legacy of Enduring Injury and Healing. And her name is Dr. Joy Larry. And you can also see her speak on this topic. Um, if you go, you can Google it or go on YouTube and you can actually see her lecture this topic. So she is my person of the day um, for Black History Month. So um, you know, leave a comment. Let me know how you liked it. Um, let me know if you read it before. What is your thoughts? Okay. Do you, do you believe, or do you feel that, um, we as a people have suffered, a, you know, PTSD, post-traumatic, uh, slave syndrome? Do you believe that it exists? Um, yeah. So leave a comment. Let me know what your feelings is, you know, about, uh, this book that she wrote about the theory, you know, that she has. Okay. All right. And thank you for watching, um, you know, the video and don't forget that you are blessed and highly favored. Mwah, mwah, mwah.